Hi everyone, welcome to another endgame study. In this position, it is white to move. As always in these puzzles, you should pause your video, try to find the solution on your own, and then when you're done, unpause it and we'll work it out together. So what's happening here? I'm going to start solving it now. So if you're not done, keep your video paused. But basically, king b6, king d2, king c5, king takes pawn, king d5, king e3, king e6, king e4, black wins. So, well, we can't do that. Um, king b6, king d2, king c7, king takes pawn, king d7, oh, wait, then we win. King e3, king takes pawn, okay, so hold on. King b6, king c3, king c7, king d4. King d7, king e5. This is, these calculation puzzles are important to solve correctly. I'm going to try and do it without moving the pieces too. So try and follow along. King b6, king c3, king c5, king d2, king c6. King takes pawn, king d7. Some of that looks winning. So let me just demonstrate. If we go after this pawn, and he goes after that pawn, I think we just win easily. Um, how, so he for, should therefore race to the f5 pawn. And when we race to the e5 pawn, e7 pawn, now he achieves a draw. This is just a draw. Um, so the key is we cut him off, we force him to go this way. And we lose a tempo in the process. However, now we come here. I think this should work. If takes, king d7 should win, followed by takes. The defense that makes sense is king to e3. And now here, here, so there's two, there's two ideas here. Number one, king e6, if king e4, e3 wins, forcing his king off of the f5 pawn. And if king g4, well now e4 wins followed by king takes. I'm pretty sure that's the answer. Alright, so I got it right up to up to this move. Now I just have to make sure king d5 isn't the move for some reason. Because king c... I don't know why I played king c6 each time. But you know, we run out of tempos. Oh, this is interesting. We need to lose a tempo. And now we're in Zugzwang. We have no... We have no good moves here. You see what I mean? It's white's move. We need it to be black's move here. Therefore, king c6 is better. Because now after this move, king d7, now it is black's move, and then e3. So how about that? Um, oh, I, I made a... I said one of my moves was wrong. <laughs> oh, because he is king e4. I'm sorry, I got lazy. We have to go king d5. Uh, if king d7, king e4. And again, he gets, the, he gets the position where it's our move. And we need it to be his move here. So that after king e4, e3 wins, or king g4, e4. So yeah, we have to go king d5 here. And then king e6. So I would just click quick, quickly in putting moves. And now, after king d5, he's forced to go king f4. He has no king e4 option anymore, and then e3 wins the game. So that's a cool little uh, tacti uh, ca calculation puzzle and kind of triangulation zugzwang puzzle. I like it. I like it for a king and pawn in game. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I will see you tomorrow with another uh, in-game study. Bye-bye.